Lucas Media. So I've been trying to make a video for this for at least since yesterday. And, you know, as a parent, I'm trying not to get too emotional, you know, where they take this video down. You know, you got to be politically correct on here. So let me play this video. It's going to be a reaction, fair use, and I'll give my thoughts throughout it. A mother lands behind bars after Good Samaritans find her three-year-old son running into a busy street at nighttime. It happened at North Deshaun Road near South Rockbridge Road in Stone Mountain. Fox News' Christopher King talked with the Good Samaritan who stepped in. Christopher is live at the Gwinnett County Police Department. Christopher, what in the world was that little boy doing alone at night? <sighs> See, I, I hope I can get through this video. Well, Courtney uh, Russ, police say the little boy's mom was punishing him for acting up. We speak with a driver who spotted that child in the street. He says that boy could have been badly hurt. So before I go even further, a, a mother left her toddler at the park. At the park. Let me keep going. Take a look at this body cam video. A couple just found a three-year-old boy alone. Three years old. In the middle of the street at night. No one knows around. Police ask the toddler where his home is. Do you know where you're The little boy is too young to know his address. That was extremely strange. It happened around 10.30 on July 2nd. Will Mosley and his wife, Michelle, were driving along North Deshaun Road near... Now, could you imagine, right? And, and I always say, I live down here in Atlanta. I actually live, used to live over in this neighborhood. Could you imagine driving at night and you just see a little a three-year-old toddler in the road? Ah, man, just... Rockbridge Road in Stone Mountain. I saw some something running. Mosley says he did a double take. That looks like a kid. He says this little boy had run into the street. Parents nowhere in sight. He was running to the car and he said, can I get in, please? Can I get in? And we let him in. We asked him where his mother was. He didn't know. Now, just, just that alone, what type of mental... Well, let me say this. Let me say this. Do you know how twisted you have to be to leave your child alone at the park as a form of punishment at night, three years old? Now, I've had three-year-olds. I've had three different three-year-olds. You do realize that they'll get up and wander off and they'll be scared. They're three. Let me keep going. Gwinnett County Police say the mother and her boyfriend were at the Shang Park nearby trying to teach the boy a lesson. And she had left her child at a park bench in the in the park uh, in order to punish the child for a misbehavior. The child got up, ran away as soon as the mother drove off and ended up running into the roadway. Police say what that mother did was extremely dangerous. And also, have y'all ever noticed about with, with a lot of stories like this? First of all, obviously, it looked like a, you know, a, a young black kid. You notice that they said the mother and her boyfriend, which makes me wonder, where was the fa where was the biological father at? Where was the biological father at? And how come your boyfriend didn't have the the testicles? I don't hope you know. He had testicles to stand up and say, hey, you can't leave a little black kid out here. You can't do nothing like that. This is dangerous. You know, if you if, if you I've been in Georgia for a long time, it ain't really a lot of streetlights down here, especially when you in Gwinnett County and Stone Mountain. And like where where was his ball that to be like, yo, we can't do this. But, you know, a lot of us. Meaning that a lot of a lot of brothers have been raised really without father. You could, I can already tell this brother probably didn't have a father in his life, you know. So he just he acting just as emotional as her. Oh no, we're gonna teach this boy a lesson. We're gonna teach this boy a lesson. And then also with the father, you don't have no idea what's going on with your kids. See, let me hold on. Let me keep playing this video could have run out into the roadway and been hit by a car or if there was someone else out there who exactly uh, who could have just your kid could have went child. missing permanently Police arrested gabrielle buckley this was punishment taken to an extreme and constituted reckless conduct at three years old you, you don't punish them like that 
Exactly. You know, it ain't like you, you know, you give them a little tap on the hand or, or you know, something like that. You're flicking them with your little, you know, you're doing a little flick to they leg. They're, they're three. They don't know no better than nothing. They, <laughs> if your brain's not even developed until you're an adult, you know, because like I said, I have teenagers. Some of y'all got teenagers and they do stuff all the time, which I have to remember they're teenagers. You know, even when, even how my oldest one is now is 20, you know, they're still going to do stuff. So imagine a three-year-old, what in the hell kind of punishment or what, what did they do as a three-year-old to deserve a punishment? What they, what they pooping on themselves or something, you know, they didn't knock something over something that kids do. They didn't roll on the wall. Something that kids do. You think, and psychologically, you leaving a child at the park at night, you know how scary that is? Well, that's why the little boy took off running. He, please help me. Please help me. Thank God that it, that that this person right here, you know, wasn't on some, you know, um, perverted, creepy stuff, and you would have never saw a little boy again. I need to talk to him. Now, police issued an arrest warrant for Lawrence Dozier Joubert. He and Buckley face reckless conduct charges. They could face even more counts. And wh why y'all not going to show their face? Listen, man, these type of people need to be outed. We, we talking about the babies. When adults do things, that's on them. But when you do something to hurt the youth, like I said, this is a baby, man. This is a baby. Three years old. He ain't no 21 year old and you, you know, you dropping him off and telling him to go fend for himself. This is a baby. And like I said, yes, the mama, I got a lot of words for her, but I got really like, who is this boyfriend she dealing with? You, you, the fact that you are, you a man, you supposed to be the leader of the family. This is why people don't respect us. This is why our women don't respect us. You couldn't stand up for that, that little boy. And like I said, I bet that wasn't his daddy because they said the boyfriend and the daddy, wherever you are, please be involved in your son's life. You need to go to court and get full custody. That's why, brothers, we got to start. We got to start being careful who we have kids with. And again, I don't want to hear no miss. Let me see my son, man. She miss you tripping, bro. No, you need to go to court. You need to go to court. You need to get child, put yourself on child support, whatever you got to do, but you got to be involved in your kids' lives, man. I've been seeing stuff like this over and over again. Again, the mom boyfriend was okay with that. If that was, <laughs> if that was me, I might have been, see, see, I, I, I can't even go too deep. But this is sad, you know, this is sad, this is sick. I hope, like I said, I hope they do some time over that. And really for that boyfriend, man, that's just, I don't know, man. <laughs> Like I said, the times we live in. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think. If y'all want any more reaction videos, let me know.